that's what I've been trying to say this whole time is that if you say no, it's either come back a few more times or I say to them, I, I'll see you on the way, you know, down or up or whatever, because yeah. I feel like people um, that say no and mean it for a different reason, that's all fine and dandy, but those aren't the people that I would want to work with anyway. Um, right. You don't want to start convincing, but you have to, you know, um, that's why I, I say that, you know, the return on investment is also emotional. So when people say no, they they often don't actually mean no. They're, they're, it's not their world. So they get, they're confused as to why is it that I want to say yes, but I'm just saying no. You know, and then sometimes they, they want you to come back and back and back. And I think one of the things that people love and hate, and that's one word, love, hate me about me is un I'm like a piranha, which is like worse than a shark, I think, because it doesn't let go until every piece of meat is off that fish, you know, it just doesn't let go. So I, I just feel like sometimes I have to maybe be a little more aggressive to teach or to get through to the person that this is a project that's worth your time. Just it is, you know, or I wouldn't be sitting in an office there. There are so many people that you can go to. And if you're in someone's office that I chose, there's a reason. So, but that's not often, you know, the case. So on to the next person, but you're right. I like that. It's a no with sunglasses on. The saying timing is everything couldn't be more true, but honestly, if I had to, if I said to you, timing is everything for me, that would be very shallow because how do you know if you don't take 30 seconds to just kind of think about what the person is saying to you, that the timing, you may think that you're in a situation where the timing is not right for you, but if you would just listen a little bit and just think it through, even overnight, you would understand that there's never a good time, ever. There's never, when is it a good time to write a big fat check and take your, and take, and take a, uh, a risk on a person that you either don't know, or you know, but you don't want to fall out with because of, you know, finance. There's never a good time, ever, ever a good time to write a check for somebody, ever. So you have to, I try to put in other returns on their time and investment. And to me, that's the key. It's never a good time. When do people, you know, you don't see somebody sitting in a street corner just writing checks. I mean, it's never a good time. I mean, obviously there are situations if you lost somebody or your business is, you know, whatever, something, I mean, obviously there are things where that applies, but usually it's never a good time. You have to convince them. <laughs>